Good Saturday morning. I'm Brandon Lewis. Thanks for watching your CBS6Albany.com morning update. A group of American coaster enthusiasts are traveling to the capital region. They'll bid farewell to Hoffman's Playland in Latham. Three dozen people from across the Northeast will make the trek to say goodbye. Hoffman's opened in 1952. It'll close the doors for good in the coming weeks. We'll have a crew at today's event, and you can see the story on CBS 6 News at 6 o'clock. State investigators are taking a closer look at the 11 horse deaths at Saratoga Racecourse this summer. That's up from eight a year ago. The horses all died while racing, training, or from sudden death. In a statement, the State Gaming Commission says New York has made significant progress in reducing and preventing injuries, but adds the job of equine safety is never done. The former police chief of Lee, Massachusetts, is facing a laundry list of new charges. A grand jury handed up 12 wire fraud-related charges against Joseph Buffus Thursday in federal court. Investigators say he used a children's charity toy fund as a personal bank account, lining his pockets with $52,000. Buffus was fired from the police force a year ago after billing the town for his family's cell phone plan. His arraignment is scheduled for next week. That's your CBS6Albany.com morning update. Check back throughout the day for updates and breaking news. Eric has your latest weather forecast right here on the homepage. I'm Brandon Lewis. Have a great day.